The community garden is in full bloom. Located on Mylod Street, Susan Clare explains the big changes this year and who was able to make it happen. Hello, I'm Susan Clare of the Norwood Community Garden. We're going into our 12th year here and having started with 32 family plots the first year, this year we have expanded and we now have 88 households gardening with us for themselves and for the food pantry. Donations are made weekly to the food pantry and delivered there by volunteers in the garden. Um, last year we were able to send several hundred pounds of produce to the food pantry. That's the food pantry's estimate because they weigh things as they come in. Um, the garden is entirely organic and we are located on conservation land which also requires organic. But this year because we needed to expand having a very long waiting list the Conservation Commission stepped in and said, we will refence the garden, including the new expansion. I could not have raised that much money on such short notice by writing long grants that would take a long time to get approved. So I was grateful. And then Mark Ryan of DPW stepped up and said, my assistant, Chris Casavant, is going to coordinate installing that fence and putting in new water lines as you need them for the new extension. And while we were slow getting started because of trying to acquire the necessary materials and equipment, it got done in time for us to begin planting pretty much as we usually do in the spring. So we're very excited about all of it. I want to thank all of these people. And then there is someone very special that we want to thank and I'm going to let Teresa Petrucci take care of that. So with our recent expansion here at the Newark Community Garden, we realized how important it was to identify each of the individual plots. So we reached out to Blue Hills Regional Technical School and uh, worked with Brian Gertie, who's the lead teacher of the metal fabrication shop. Him and his students made each of these individual markers. Uh, we're happy to say that they're sustainable, eco-friendly, which is what we're all about here at the garden. So thank you, Blue Hills and Mr. Brian Gertie.